Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Mass Motos channel. How you doing? We are going to go through part four today of my How to Ride series. Uh, in today's episode, we're going to go over general maneuvering. Really a couple things uh, as a part of that. Low speed maneuvering, so you know, making tight turns at low speed on your bike. And then I actually want to touch on um, leaning as well as counter steer and what that's all about. So without further ado, let's get on the bike. We'll fire it up and start doing some riding. Okay, so here we are once again on this closed road that I've been working on um, or riding on at least to work on these series. I'm at a little intersection here. Just a little T intersection that is nice and wide so we can work on doing some turning. Um, have plenty of space to. So what we're gonna go over first is just some low speed turning and how to do that. So, you know, making tight turns in a parking lot or turning around if you ever need to on a street or making, you know, anywhere. Tight turns, even if you're out riding, you're a stop sign, have to make, you know, a hairpin turn or something, whatever it may be. Uh, and the one real key to this is understanding that you wanna lean the bike into the turns, but, you don't want to lean yourself over too much with the bike while you're turning. As a matter of fact, if you can envision the saddle of your bike pointing at an angle here, you really want to be try and stay as upright and perpendicular to the ground as possible. That'll help you allow this bike to turn but remain in control the whole time. So let's throw it into first here and work on some, uh, some tight turns on the bike. So what I'm going to do is I'm literally, you can kind of see, I'm leaning over upright on this bike and I'm working the uh, the clutch which was important from the last video if you haven't seen that already see my video on how to uh, how to work clutch and how to shift you can see I'm I can get some pretty decent uh, a decently tight radius turning here and the only key to this is number one you can probably see on the camera I'm looking where I'm turning that's a huge part of this keep your head turned to whatever way you are actually turning and it will help you keep the bike upright. You don't want to be, you know, doing this, weaving, wobbling, looking down, looking at your speedo. You want to get comfortable on your clutch. Turn that bike in tight and then keep your body as upright, as perpendicular to the ground as possible. So what we'll do here is we'll do a little loop around. So I'll cut this in tight. I'll flip it to this side. Definitely uh, my comfort is turning left here. Let me just get more to the center here. But you want to be able to be good at both. And I'm just working this clutch the whole time. I have it partly out like that discussion I had in the last video about um, how a clutch works, where you can really keep that clutch. And you'll notice I'm actually on a bit of a rocky surface here too. So, you know, I of course I say I'm, I'm better turning left, but I think I'm actually turning some tighter circles right here. So that's really all I wanted to cover in low speed maneuvering. You know, if you ever have to, if you're riding down the road and you gotta stop, right? And you know, you let somebody by or whatever and you realize you're going the wrong way and you gotta make a turn, you can stop here and you can make that turn Nice and easy, no problem at all within this street. I think that's a key thing to work on, especially for your riders test. They're gonna make you do, um, they're gonna make you do figure eights. So you're gonna have to pull in, you know, figure eight around a couple cones. So I'm gonna turn in this way, you know, through the middle. Ooh, I don't wanna go over those rocks too much, but we can make it work. See, I'm gonna break a little bit, get close to the edge there, but we can still make the loop. So you wanna work on maybe doing some figure eights, find yourself an empty parking lot, or if you have, you know, a pretty secluded street, just work on doing some figure eight, some low speed maneuvering. And as I'm doing this, I'm kind of shifting my butt um, over like side to side on the seat here, just to keep myself upright, as upright as possible. And you can make those nice tight turns. So that is it for low speed maneuvering. My next piece, you'll notice um, what we need to discuss is on low speed maneuvering, when you turn the handlebars, the bike is gonna go that way, right? So if I wanna make a left or a right, when I'm going slow here, so let's go nice and slow. We're doing three miles an hour, four or five, somewhere around there. I'm turning the handlebars left and right, and the bike is going in the desired direction of the handlebars, right? And the bike's leaning over. Now, something that you must, really, really must learn when you ride motorcycles is what counter steer is. So counter steering is essentially the act of counter steering <laughs> exactly what it says to go a direct a, a specific direction right so once we get over a certain speed when you crank this handlebar to the right the bike is no longer going to follow the line of that tire because of uh, many different reasons uh, physics and all that stuff essentially your bike is going to want to lean in the opposite direction of your steering angle and it's going to 
tip the bike that direction. Now, the good thing about that is you can make some really quick maneuvers. So it's important to know that because if you, if you get in a situation where you need to think quickly and you're not comfortable um, counter steering, you could end up doing something you don't want to. So for example, we'll see here, I'm going 16. I'm gonna turn my handlebars to the left. Where does the bike go? Goes the other way. So watch, turn it to the left, bike goes to the right. Turn it to the right, bike goes to the left. And you can see how quick that is, how snappy that is. And it may look like I'm weaving that way, but I'm really, I'm pulling the handlebars in the opposite direction. So say I'm driving, you know, God forbid you're driving down the road and somebody, you know, let me make this, this loop here. And actually I'm counter steering this loop. So I want to dip the bike in to lean to the left. I'm pulling that right side back a little bit and it's, it's tipping my bike right down the way I want to. So say you're driving down the road and somebody veers into your lane correctly quickly and you need to dip out of the way like that. You want to be able, comfortable with what your arms need to do to make your bike do that, to flip it over one side or the other. Pushing that handlebar, you know, for example, that person's coming down this way and you think, oh, I need to move over to the right. If you were to turn your handlebars to the right, you're going to dip yourself right into that car. So that's a really crucial mechanic of motorcycles that you really need to learn and get comfortable with is snapping that back and forth. And what's weird is as we slow down here, you know, I slow down, now I'm going nice and slow. And look at this. Now I'm back down to, if I turn the handlebars one way or the other, I'm actually gonna go that direction now. So to get, get comfortable with where your bike, you know, essentially wants to do that. Um, that's really it for this section. Uh, steering and maneuvering is just the comfort level. You know, you're gonna start making big circles, just get comfortable making smaller circles and smaller circles. And then, like I said, you really wanna, you wanna spend some time. You don't have to go fast, that's the beauty of it, but you wanna get comfortable to what counter steer is, how it makes your motorcycle feel, how you're most comfortable doing it. Um, you know, when you're coming to a corner, you don't just wanna have to lean your bike, lean over to turn. You wanna utilize the mechanics of the bike to tip it in, hold it at the angle that you want it at, whatever it may be, but you gotta use those counter steering mechanics. You know, if I need to avoid that sand patch quickly, or if I'm coming up and I'm not, you know, if I'm looking around, oh my God, there's a drain cap, you can bump out of the way as quick as you need to, you know? You can drop that bike to the left and the right very quickly, you know? You can see I'm veering out of the way quite rapidly. So that's really have all I have for you today. A uh, quick video on maneuvering and steering. I think this is, you know, this will be part four. I think we're gonna go part five, just doing some road riding, discussing that, and that'll wrap it up for the How to Ride series. I appreciate everybody that's been tuning in. If you're a subscriber, thank you again. I say in every video so much for the support. If you are, you know, a returning viewer and not a subscriber or a new viewer, please take a, you know, a minute to subscribe, like the video, send a comment. I would really appreciate it. Um, I guess until next time, I always say, you know, be safe, ride safe, enjoy the bike, uh, and we will catch you guys in the next video. Thanks.